Okay, we're here with Herman Cain at the Tea Party Express stop in South Carolina. Uh, Mr. Cain, I'd just like to start, you know, we're here at a Tea Party rally. Um, you are considered by many to be one of the solid Tea Party candidates in this race. Right. What are your thoughts on the whole movement and what is your message here in South Carolina? First, my thoughts are that this movement is making a difference. Secondly, to the Tea Party activists, don't be discouraged or persuaded by the mainstream media and the liberals who are trying to intimidate us into not believing that we are having an impact. If we were not having an impact, they wouldn't be calling us names. They wouldn't be throwing flames and grenades at us and trying to get people not to participate. And the third thing I would say is stay inspired and stay involved. And for people who may be considering becoming active in the whole Tea Party Citizens Movement, do it. Don't let the mainstream media try to intimidate you because there are those of us who are not going to be intimidated and that's exactly what they want to try to do. This movement is making a difference and it's going to make a bigger difference in 2012. And uh, I know we only have a couple minutes, you got to go address the crowd here in a few. I'd just like to follow up on uh, Obama's speech last night. Yes. Big speech, uh, you know, joint, set, joint, joint session there. What were your thoughts on the speech and what is your response? The response that I issued last night was, we waited 30 months for this? Is this what we've been waiting on? Secondly, it's just more of the same. It's the same government spending repackaged in different rhetoric. Secondly, he threw in a couple of trinkets to workers, to employ employers finally. For over a year I've been saying provide a payroll tax holiday. Full payroll tax holiday to employees and employers. So what did he do? He provided a half payroll tax holiday. Which means that it's only going to half work. The other thing that he did and did not do, he did provide any certainty. Didn't address the tax code. In fact, he alluded to the fact that he doesn't want to renew the current tax rates. All of that, do, all that does is create more uncertainty, which is killing this economy. Bottom line, I'm not impressed. And unfortunately, for the 14 million people that are still unemployed, for the businesses that are still hanging on for dear life, you're really not going to get much change in this economy for the next year and a half. Okay, and final question. We're here in South Carolina, which is an early state, a battleground state. Yes. Um, what is your message to the voters here in South Carolina and then in general, you know, nationally on the primary? What do what you bring to the table and, you know, what are you saying to get support? My message is quite simple. Send Washington a message and send a non-politician to win the Republican nomination and let's send a non-politician to the White House who is a problem solver. Herman Cain represents the voice of common sense, which is the voice of the people. Send a message to Washington and the establishment and help Herman Cain get the Republican nomination and help Herman Cain become the next president of the United States of America. And those who want to help, what's the quickest way to do so? The quickest way to help is to go to our website, hermancain.com, H-E-R-M-A-N-C-A-I-N.com. At the website, they can volunteer so we can let them know when we're going to be in that area and they can also donate. Obviously donations are appreciated because I'm not one of the candidates that has a kajillion dollars and I believe that money is not going to elect the next president of the United States. The right message is going to elect the next president of the United States. Herman Cain, thank you so much. My pleasure.